Welcome to today's lecture on plant reproduction and growth. Today, we will embark on a captivating journey into the world of plants, exploring the intricate processes that enable them to reproduce and grow. Join me as we delve into the fascinating life cycles of plants and unravel the factors that influence their growth. Importance of Plant Reproduction Plants play a vital role in our ecosystem, and their reproduction is crucial for their survival and the continuation of their species. Through the processes of reproduction, plants create new individuals and foster genetic diversity, contributing to the stability and resilience of ecosystems. Sexual reproduction in plants involves the fusion of male and female gametes. Flowers, those magnificent structures, serve as the reproductive organs in flowering plants. Within these flowers, we find the stamens, the male reproductive organs, and the pistils, the female reproductive organs. Let's take a closer look at the structure of a flower. Flowers consist of various parts, including petals, sepals, stamens, and pistils. Each part has a specific role in the reproductive process. Petals attract pollinators, sepals protect the developing flower bud, while stamens produce pollen and pistils house the ovules. Pollination is the crucial step in plant reproduction. It involves the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma. This process can occur through various means, including wind, water, or animal pollinators. Different plants have evolved specific adaptations to facilitate efficient pollination. There are two primary types of pollination, self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination occurs when pollen is transferred within the same flower or from one flower to another on the same plant. Cross-pollination, on the other hand, involves the transfer of pollen between flowers or even different plants. Cross-pollination promotes genetic diversity, a key factor in the survival and adaptation of plant species. Once pollen reaches the stigma, it grows a pollen tube, allowing the sperm cells to reach the ovule. This is where fertilization occurs, as the sperm cells fertilize the egg, resulting in the formation of a zygote. This process initiates the development of a seed, which holds the potential for new life. Seed development is a fascinating process. After fertilization, the zygote undergoes embryonic development within the seed. Meanwhile, the seed coat forms, providing protection. When conditions are favorable, such as the presence of water, oxygen, and suitable temperature, the seed germinates. This marks the beginning of a new plant's growth. In addition to sexual reproduction, plants have evolved various methods of asexual reproduction. This allows them to produce offspring without the involvement of gametes. Methods such as vegetative propagation, fragmentation, and budding enable plants to reproduce efficiently and rapidly, but with limited genetic diversity. Plant growth is a complex process regulated by hormones. Hormones like auxin, gibberellin, and cytokinin play vital roles in controlling cell elongation, root formation, flowering, and other developmental processes. These hormones act as chemical messengers, ensuring coordinated growth and responding to environmental stimuli. Plants exhibit remarkable growth responses to environmental stimuli. Tropisms are growth movements towards or away from specific stimuli. Phototropism refers to the growth towards light, while gravitropism is the growth response to gravity. Thigmotropism, on the other hand, is the response to touch or contact with solid objects. These tropisms allow plants to optimize their growth and survival in their respective environments. Several environmental factors profoundly influence plant growth. Light is essential for photosynthesis and influences various developmental processes. Temperature affects enzyme activity and metabolic rates. Adequate water availability is crucial for maintaining turgidity and nutrient transport. Nutrients, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, are vital for plant growth and development. Understanding and managing these factors are essential for successful cultivation and maximizing plant productivity. In conclusion, plant reproduction and growth are intricate processes that ensure the continuation of plant species and contribute to the stability of ecosystems. Sexual reproduction, with its complex flower structures and pollination mechanisms, plays a vital role in genetic diversity. 
Additionally, asexual reproduction enables plants to reproduce efficiently. Plant growth is regulated by hormones, and tropisms allow plants to respond to their environment. By appreciating the factors that influence plant reproduction and growth, we can better understand and appreciate the beauty and resilience of the plant kingdom. If you would like to explore the topic further, here are some recommended resources.